If you guys ain't see that little preview, look, I'll give it to you one more time. Look, bam. Welcome back, you two. Man, it is a President's Day, man. I hope you guys have the day off for one. And number two, I hope you guys are spending it with your family, loved ones, your homies, females, whatever you got going on, man. I hope you guys have a very good day today. It is Monday. It is, I think, almost like 11.30 here. And, man, we're just blessed to see a whole nother day. Alrighty, so before I get started, man, there's a guy with a loud truck. But anyways, um, thanks again to all the subscribers that subscribed and help us, the page, get to 1K subscribers. And thank you once again for bearing with me. But the day has come. Like I said, today is Monday. I was going to do the, the raffle giveaway tomorrow, but we're just going to go ahead and do it Wednesday. Why? Because Wednesday morning, I will be going um, to the speaker plug and I will be recording up there, you know, because I did get a lot of good views on that video of the speaker place and be looking at some stuff for the next giveaway. And hopefully, you know, I'll be giving hints in that video throughout that video. And hopefully you guys can guess what the next giveaway is, man. So it is going to be a, a little good one. This giveaway coming up, this next giveaway uh, coming up, I am going to be making uh, some uh, car audio uh, stickers, which I'll show you a prototype right here. And maybe a shirt prototype right here. So by purchasing, purchasing one sticker for maybe like 10 bucks, will give you you know an entry purchasing the the t-shirt will give you another entry but when you purchase both of them it'll probably give you um, a few more entries than what buying just each individual thing and trust me guys it's gonna be worth it you know like every single like giveaway that I do man good stuff that I'm gonna be giving because I want your rides to be jamming as well you know what I'm saying this is a car audio channel car channel but anyways, let me give me some feedback. Let me know if you know if you guys want speakers, tools, uh, performance parts because we do some performance stuff here on this channel too. So give me some feedback. I want to know what you guys. I want to make you guys happy, and um, then get your rides good. You feel me? And um, make it affordable for everybody, not to you know break bank, but just something simple, and so you guys can get something big, man. So. Um, that will be coming and like I said Wednesday at 8 o'clock sharp Eastern time and if you're in Texas it'll probably be like 7 o'clock California 8 o'clock probably be like 3 o'clock something like that I'm not too sure but man stay tuned because we will be going live Wednesday at 8 o'clock and someone will be winning I actually went ahead and did a pioneer double din you know what I'm saying pioneer is more user-friendly and I didn't want to make it too complicated for a lot of people so we just went with a pioneer double din and you guys should be happy with it man so now on another topic let me show you what i got going on here today at the crib so i got my cadillac ats it's just a regular one this is the one that my wife drives but i think we're going to be upgrading this thing right here i would actually like to get like a 2016 17 this is a 2014 a 2016 or 17 the cts v sport you know the v sports actually the the v6 but with the twin turbos in it and i think it's like 394 or four something horsepower man still badass car and all that you know the kids are growing up i think i need a bigger car this one you know is good for what we got but i got an older daughter that's like 16 years old and she's fixing to come down from spring break and i need a bigger car you know so we're either going to trade this or we're going to get an escalate you know what i'm saying because my wife needs to be bright and comfortable she has the kids and you know so but I just want to know what would be more better for the channel. But you know, any single car that we get, man, we're going to lace it up. I never put a system in it because we always had strollers and all kinds of stuff. But these kids are getting older. So it's time to put some bang in my wife's car. So let me know what you guys think. CTSV, Sport, the V6 with the twin turbo, or the Escalade. The Escalade, we could probably do a little bit more and still have cargo area. But even if we do the CTSV, I'm just going to make something look real nice and classy, but still nice and loud. You feel me? Look, I'm gonna give you a quick preview of what we got over here. Look, bam. If you guys ain't see that little preview, look, I'll give it to you one more time. Look, bam. And subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that build because that build is gonna be epic. 
we are gonna break the internet with that thing man we are gonna and the little truck game man we're gonna take over with that truck right there trust me i know what i'm telling you with my truck right here man we are gonna definitely kill the game with my truck we got the uh 2018 silverado z71 i actually cleaned her up yesterday man this thing looks really nice once it's nice and clean i really need a clay bar and wax it and get the windows tinted i know i've been talking about getting the windows tinted for the longest but man it's hard it's hard for a brother out here man so we're gonna get that done but anyway so we are gonna actually so let me explain to you guys what we are gonna be doing together i'm gonna need y'all's comments advice tips you know requests anything that you guys ever want to see on any of my vehicles done man drop some things in the comments i will always take those into consideration and if we can get on it man i'm gonna give credit to whoever dropped the comment and we'll get it done so for this silverado i am going to be building some door panels probably put like a 10 10 two sixes or a six and eight two tweeters and some nice plexiglass and done you know fiberglass painted black with a little bit of the carbon fiber on it so it looks fabulous we'll probably do a center console you know with some cup holders a cubby holder um all the char charging ports a 10 and a tweeter because you know we do big boy 10s out here man you know we want these things screaming back doors you know something simple we'll probably do like a 10 an 8 a 6 and two tweeters you know fix it man these kids are already putting work in my truck and we're gonna have to replace that we are gonna do a i would actually like to take the seat out hold do a wall panel from top to bottom but we'll see what happens and keep the back seat but we are gonna be doing a blow through so we are gonna cut the bed and for so the back i really don't want to put a tonneau cover on it because i i want everything to always be you know exposed so there's all kinds of stuff so it glows nice and everything but for this drop down in the comments let me know what you guys think should i do 415 scars or sundowns or some jl audio w713s 415s or 612s man let me know what you guys think i do want to do that 15k uh terra amp on it mids and highs everywhere on the back nice display fiberglass painted of course just because it's my vehicle i love the fiberglass stuff and we're gonna go the extra mile get this thing done by october because it does take time to build fiberglass stuff to the perfection so this truck by october it needs to be ready because we are gonna invade texas man my truck and my homeboy's truck we're gonna go together and we're gonna invade texas not to show out but to let them know man we out here we exist and we're a part of this epic builds man epic builds coming so 615s no 612s or 415s and we can even 615s in that thing man we'll get it done you know ain't nothing to to do a little bit of math geometry and make it work mids and highs those big old tweeters i'll probably put like four across the back probably two right here so that's eight but you know speakers along here plexiglass top lights eight batteries maybe ten load this things up with mids and highs do something motorized make it look cool man so and that's what we got planned to do for this truck now back to the truck that that started it all for us in this channel my trailblazer super sport man this is my baby for those of y'all that's never seen it we got fiberglass doors in it already this truck's basically complete i just need to build the uh front part of the the console look at this thing beautiful beautiful holding up fiberglass has never cracked and it's never going to crack because we did it right you know tv stripper pole i need to build the front part of the console and the doors are in there and finish the thing so for this truck so for this truck we are going to swap out that radio because my boy put me on a new brand of radios and i wished i would have gave that one out but you know i said i'm going to do pioneer kenwood so i'm gonna stick with my word and we're going to do pioneer but for the next radios man the radios that he my boy and that lightning uh put me on we're going to be doing those radios because it does have netflix Disney Plus, you can do all that stuff, man. But the only downfall on that radio is it doesn't have a video out, so you can put it on TVs if you have a flip-down headrest. But we are going to look into it. They do make other models, and we are going to try to get one that has video out, or we'll try to figure something out. But, so, new radio. We'll probably upgrade, you know, 8, try to find a new brand or something like that um, to make uh, add more power. And we got the four 12 kicker CVRs in it, but, but I think we're going to swap them out and probably put some scars or some sundowns in this thing or DB drives, the G2s or G5s, whatever. I think the G5s are the bigger ones. I want to do bigger subs that can hold, 
this TS power amp, if you guys never heard of them, they're pretty good. It's a 5,000, but in reality, it's probably only like 1,500, 2,000 watts. But I would like to put different subs in it to hold way more power, guys. You know, I would like to put a 15K in this thing, but I don't think so because I don't want to destroy all the fiberglass in it. So we'll probably stick with a Terra Amp 8, 8K. I think they have one or even a 10K. But I want to put subs in there that can take that power. So drop a comment. Let me know what subs you guys think can handle all that power. Sundown, Scar, DB Drive. You know, I am uh, open to any of those area, any of those subs so we can explore um, new stuff and hold more power. The box is built perfect. Any subs that I pretty much put in there will jam. And always remember, Bandpass boxes, fourth orders. Um, they always require a lot of airspace, man. A lot of airspace. So March, January, February, March, April, April, or maybe in the next two months, they have a show in Tampa, Florida here, probably like an hour away from me. The Man of Steel, if I'm right, I could be wrong, but it's like a car audio truck show. More car audio because there's always a lot of, you know, car, um, you know, audio. Those uh, demo vehicles are always there. I know the the Jonathan Price, Life of Price guy, the one that does all the, the down for sound stuff, he'll be out there. And so I would actually like to put those four 12s in it that can hold a little bit more power and put that amp in there. So we can go out there, get down and regulate and let the people know, man, that we out here, we grinding and, you know, try to make a name for ourselves, man. We got to grow, we got to grow, we got to grow. And the only way we're going to grow is to attend these shows, put on a good show for everybody, give demos, demos for everybody, keep everybody happy and, man, just keep grinding. So drop comments, let me know, Scar, Sundown, what models. I need subs that can hold at least 2,000 watts a piece. Um... We got the depth, we got the cutout, everything ready to rock and roll. It's braced up to handle some serious power, and we're going to get it done, and we're going to be out there jamming. I am going to replace the batteries and new alternator by that time, and we are going to trailer it out there with my Silverado, man. So stay tuned for that one. We will be getting on that one soon, and this Trailblazer is going to be a fucking monster after we put these subs in here. All right, now let's close this thing, and let's explain to you what we got going on with this bad boy right here, man. So... This is my homeboy Castro's truck, the one with that black lightning and that jacked up uh, Ford. He's a big Ford guy, but this is his baby. Look at this thing right here, man. This thing's badass. I wonder how cool he feels of me recording it, but I'm going to record it anyways because that thing looks clean. Too bad, you know. Um, anyways, back to the topic. So we have the, my boy's uh, Gen 1 Ford Lightning. This is what we're going to use to break the internet with straight up. You know what I'm saying? Nice truck. Rare truck. A lot of people like these trucks, man. But listen, they ain't going to do it like us. Because, man, we get down. We have creative ideas. You know, box designs. It's ridiculous around here. But this is the truck that we're going to use to break the internet, man. Beautiful fiberglass work top of the line products that we're going to use this he's putting intros or billets i think um staggered offset big old, big old lip going in the back he's going to um, narrow the differential tubs with the holes and the nipples in it and we're going to do all this man pemex man that's a mexico uh um gas company you know has on the gas for all the gas boys rock for fosgate um he didn't leave the key because he took it on accident but you know, I'd show you guys the interior, but that will be for the next time. But I'm just letting you guys see what we got going on. Beautiful truck. So for this one, we're going to build some beautiful painted uh, door panels with some vinyl LED lights. Very beautiful. Maybe a console, lights, fiberglass, you name it. A rear panel, you know, going in it. And we're going to cut the bed. And I told him he just really needs to make a statement with this truck. And Bill like at least like 215s he really wants to put 213 w7s where it'll sound really good and everything but we can't really put true power on it because those things will blow even put in 3000 watts in it it'll blow so you always have to be gentle jamming it but i told him man we need to put something that not really trying to compete with people but know that you got it man so i am actually trying to get him to put a 10k or a 15k on this thing as well you know so probably like just an AK realistically speaking put two 15s or two uh, 412 412s or two 15s on that AK and this thing would be nasty do a whole 
uh, panel set up, fiberglass painted, speakers on the outside displaying the amps. They put a nitrous bottle, you know, all kinds of stuff back here, man. Make that thing look phenomenal, man. So subscribe to the channel, stay tuned because this build right here is going to be fantastic, man. So kill the game. I don't care what anybody says, man. We are going to get down like James Brown on this one, man. And you guys are going to stay safe. My God, there's so many cars right by. You guys are gonna always be the first to see everything because you guys are the fam. You guys make this thing happen. And man, subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of things coming. We gotta read his lightning is the black one. We actually gotta redo it. I convinced them to upgrade the subs and so we can get it jamming too. You know what I'm saying? Since we're already there, he's already spending the big bucks on it. This video was just to keep you guys updated on what we got going on, car audio wise, giveaway wise. And me wise man you know what I'm saying you guys are my family i gotta you know keep you guys updated with everything if you guys made it this far on the video man drop that hashtag uh, mtg mousetrap gang and let me know you guys are in the building giveaway wednesday eight o'clock sharp be there be square youtube live we're gonna give away this pioneer double den for you guys subscribe to the channel we got things popping and you know what I'm saying i'll catch you guys on the flip side man peace